Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, gotten a few missions from the Gino Haradin after we had completed the one on, uh, it was on uh, Dantooine. There we go, I had to think about it for a second. Even though my brain had conflated the two uh, starting missions, so the target I thought was the Rodian, that was near the temple when turns out I was incorrect and I'm an idiot. Uh, I took out that target uh, after I also found out what the uh, Yavin 4 space station was about. It was a new vendor who does a lot of cool shit and I kind of want a lot of the stuff he's selling. But that is for later. But for right now, one of the missions for the Gino Haradin I can do right now in this very section. So, I'm going to go and try and do that right now. And the reason why I can do that right now is because I am going to talk to Vec. Hello, Vec. Congratulations on winning the Manan Championship. I do enjoy watching your races, human. It makes a nice break from the hectic world I must deal with every day in my business. I need to meet with Itharak Golder. Can you settle up? You need to meet with Itharak? Forgive my skepticism, but you hardly resemble our typical client. We deal in the kind of pieces found in the chambers of a galactic senator. Um, oh, whoa. <laughs> that is a little bit of an evil answer there. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Let's, uh, let's ignore that one. Um, and I represent an anonymous... Anonymous... Blah, 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 blah. I represent an anonymous bar here from Coruscant. Perhaps you do, human, but how can I be sure you're telling the truth? I would hate to waste Ithorak's time if you aren't serious. I represent a wealthy buyer from Coruscant. Yes, you do look like that. You have that look about you. The air of one who serves the rich and powerful, servile, fawning. A look I've seen in my own mirror far too often. <sighs> Very well. I'll set up a meeting with my boss. The Sith permit Itharak to conduct his private business in their non-secured hangar. Go to the docking bays and we will meet you there. In their non-secured hangar. Interesting. What an interesting development. Cameras activated. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I don't need to know this. Thank you. Jesus. They're non secured hangar. Come on. The private hangar. There we go. Oh, so we're going to the private hangar. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Oh. Itharak is waiting for you inside the hangar. As you probably know, there are no security cameras there. The better to conduct our business away from prying eyes. However, before we go in, I'll point out this rather large assault droid standing beside me. I and the droid will both accompany you in to see Itharak, just to make sure there is no trouble. My business with Itharak is private. Itharak is a powerful, important man with access to the rich and powerful. He is not about to let himself become an easy target for a kidnapping or an assassination. When you meet Itharak, I and the droid will both be there. It is my job to protect my employer, and I intend to do that regardless of my personal feelings toward him. You mean you don't like Itharak? Itharak can be as temperamental as his clients. Combine that with his arrogance and the way he treats his underlings, and you can understand why I might soon consider seeking other employment. But despite all Itharak's faults, he does pay well. So I serve my employer faithfully for now. You should quit on him right now. 
leave and find another job. You're, you're right. He's never treated me with the respect I deserve. Yelling at me, insulting me, belittling me. I don't know why I stayed with him as long as I did. Ithrak never appreciated me while I was around, so let's see how he likes dealing with you alone. But before I go, one last warning. Whatever your plan for Ithrak is, be careful. I've always suspected he was more than just a simple merchant. I've heard people who cross him are rarely heard from again. I don't want to risk his vengeance, so I'm going to disappear for a long while. Just in case Ithrak gets the better of you in this, you understand. Goodbye, human, and good luck. Hmm. Are you the buyer I'm supposed to meet? Wait a minute. Where's Vec? What's going on here? Vex? Uh... Vec didn't want to be around when I gutted you, Itharak. I knew I couldn't trust that tree like some security advisor. He lets an assassin walk right in on me. Vex's going to pay for this betrayal after I'm done taking care of you. Whoops. Oops, I did not mean to open the door, but it's fine. Oh, wow. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking you'd be able to do. Well, as long as I'm able to keep doing that, should be fine. Oh, didn't know he had a blaster. Dark side points, I'm getting a lot of those. But it's fine. I have a data pad. A data pad? Why? This data pad has a single message on it. Someone has discovered that you are more than you claim to be. Watch your back because you know Vec is too incompetent to watch it for you. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Well... Yes, the cameras are activated now, aren't they? Well. <laughs> That's done. <laughs> that mission's complete. Alrighty. I did not mean to open the door in the middle of that. I thought the target reticle was already on him. <laughs> Didn't turn out to be that way. Welp. That's fine. Okay. Well, onward we go. And we shall talk to, uh... Da -ba -da -ba -da. Talk to Hulas again. That was the name. For some reason, it was escaping my brain. Let's see what we get out of that one. Welcome back, Farron Khan. I see you have come alone. This is good. I assume you are here to discuss the business of the Gino Haradan. Itharak Goldar is dead. Yes, I heard he met a rather grisly end. For completing this mission, you have earned another reward. Take these Gino Haradan gloves. You will find that they are very useful in battle. By disposing of Itharak, you bring yourself ever closer to being accepted in the Gino Haradan. But you must complete all of your missions before you will be admitted into the guild. Is there anything else, Farron Khan? I'll be back later. I got... Gloves. Gino Haradin power gloves that are way stronger than what I currently have. Holy shit. Modeled on the Iri Iriadu. Iriadu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Modeled on the Iriadu designs. These gloves use bursts of repulsor lift energy to assist movement, effectively giving the wearer tremendous strength. Hell's yes 
good shit, man. Cannot complain about that at all. Hell yeah. Pop them on. Sir. And I can give her my the gloves. I can just give her the gloves I had before. Fucking works out beautifully. Hell yeah. All right. And she's at 13. I have... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking pretty good. Looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right. Okay. Um, let's return to the Ebon Hawk. And go after those missions. Oh, I didn't actually confirm. <laughs> getting rid of them okay well then so oops a doodle galaxy map uh tatooine that was the gam that was the gamorian right yeah that was the gamorian I'm doing all of these ones right now because I know that the last one will be the last one I can easily get to. Hmm. That is a music choice. And more space combat. All right. Yep, I can't skip this at all. Incoming fight. You little bastard, come on. Come on, damn it. There we go. I just want to hit you. There we go. So there's two more of them left. Okay, they're going below and I can't hit. Well, shit. Using the sun to fucking avoid my shots. Well, shit. There we go. You bastard. And where are you? Where'd you go. Well, oh, shit. You're also using the sun. You bitch. There we go. Out we go. Fuck yeah. Bastards using the star to fucking blind me while I'm trying to shoot at them. Bitches. <laughs> Onward we go. Back on Tatooine. And I believe they said that the one we're looking for is in the Dune Sea. I believe that's what they said anyway. So. There we go. Exit. Yeah, I'll bring them along. There we go. Fuck you. To what? Did to what? Excuse me, have you seen a mechanic about? Short fellow, bald, I've been looking. Well, I'll be a Wookiee's uncle. Davin? Davin Coltress? <laughs> Jolie? Jolie Bindo? Why, you old freak. Last time I saw you, you were still wandering the galaxy in that old tug. I thought you were dead, old man. I crashed somewhere and decided to stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just bet. 
Damn, old man. You look exactly the same as the last time I saw you. You pickle well. You're too kind. Not the young lad anymore yourself, I see. Care to introduce your friend, Jolie? What are you, deaf? His name's Davin. <coughs> old friend from Fuck, my wonder man. days. By the by, Davin, I really should be running off. Of course, old man. Oh, w wait. I if you've been traveling in this sector, I suppose you heard about Sunry? No, why? What's there to hear? He's been picked up by the Selkath authorities on Manan for murder. That's preposterous. I know. Nalora is beside herself, as you can imagine. Maybe you could help them. I'm sure Sunray would appreciate a Jedi's assistance right about now. Perhaps I will at that. It's up to my friend here, actually. I'm just tagging along. We could check into it when we're on Manan next. I'd appreciate that. Sunri's an old friend. I'd hate to see him hurt. Same here. Well, <laughs> it was good to see you again. Give my regards to Alora if you see her. I will. Be safe, old friend. Alrighty. Well. That's an interesting way for that to have been brought up. I was unaware that was a way it could be brought up. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Very interesting. Hmm. Huh. Well, uh, eventually I'll have to get rid of these two anyway, but, uh, kind of curious now. Huh. Didn't tell me anything else other than that. But I should probably get rid of them now. Probably won't be able to once I'm out on the dune sea. Alright. Gate guard hmm? Bilan. Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization in triplicate, but not me. Good hunting out there. Thank you. Do appreciate it. Alrighty, out we go. And we're in the Dune Sea. Accident site. Sand People Territory. Do we need to go to the Eastern Dune Sea, or is... It just within the Dune Sea here? I wonder. A Gamorian named Vorn Desrad. He is suspected to be on the Tatooine... To be on Tatooine hunting crate dragons. Ulas has warned you to be careful of Vorn's assault com droid companion. Okay. So, if it's crate dragons, the last one I saw was in the eastern Dune Sea. So, I'm going to assume it's there. But I'm also going to look around just in case I'm wrong. Let's see this fucking form dotted elsewhere. For whatever reason. There's a lot of junk still standing around here. A corpse. I don't remember that corpse. Well, it's empty anyway. So, it doesn't matter. If I remembered it or not. Because it's dead and it's looted. Which makes sense, considering, you know, how I usually leave planets. It's usually all looted and done with. Uh, probably not what I'm looking for. I'm thinking I'm correct in that the Eastern Dune Sea is where I want to go. Maybe he'll have another Crate Dragon Pearl. That would be something. That would be something. Definitely an interesting way for me to get another one. Hmm. Uh, 
I wonder. Is he all the way over here? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, doesn't look like he is. Chewed human corpse. Rubble. I'm pretty sure I looted all of this anyway. Yeah, chewed Twi'lek corpse. That's a star map. Oh! Okay! Interesting. Fuck! Fuckity fuck fuck McFuckers. Went exactly how I thought it would go down. Exactly how I thought it would go down. Uh, I could not bring party here. Well, this is not going to be fun. At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Um... You were your Malik's apprentice. Can't say I'm impressed. Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. No? Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Good luck. Okay, well, gonna have Force Wave on standby, because that will be very good to have. Boy, will I need it. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. He hits for a lot. He hits for a lot. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, man, I need a life support pack. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is the first time I've been in this situation. What? Okay. Alrighty then. Oh boy. Here's hoping, because I didn't save after the last one, that the autosave is usable. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> go all the way back and do all of that oh no oh no i should have known i should have known god damn it the one time i don't do it the one time i don't <laughs> all right well uh this episode is paused until i get back to where i was well, okay then. Um, I'll be back in probably a couple hours. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, and we are back. And I have saved and I have gotten a few more supplies for this particular shenanigans. In the case that my plan doesn't exactly work. See... I've discovered out on the Dune Sea, you can get rid of the party selection from here. You can't necessarily do that on the Eastern Dune Sea, as we discovered previously. So, now we're just going to do it this way, 
Because we know he's going to ambush us. Because of course the little fucker's going to ambush us. So, we're going to go all the way there. Over there. And then we'll go right back outside of the dunes, uh, the eastern dune sea. And then I'll start looking for uh, the other guy after I kill this fucker. So, that's my plan currently. We'll see if it pays off. Other than that, doing everything else, nothing else really changed. So, didn't have anything new to report. So, uh, it all worked out, more or less. The only new things I got was I got a couple more uh, life support packs and a couple more advanced med packs. That's really all I could do. That's all I really wanted to do. So I figured, fuck it, I'll do it. And we turn around, and he is probably right there. No? Really? Not here at all, huh? Tattered equipment pack. Okay. There he is. We had to go all the way at the back. All right. Round two, jackass. At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Uh-huh. Right. Can't say I'm impressed. Your words mean nothing to me. Unless you wish to beg for your life. No? Nope. Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Good luck. All right, we'll have that up. We'll go with that. And then we'll go right after that. There we go. Now we get rid of his fucking companions. Oh, you son of a bitch. You did that almost immediately. You son of a bitch. There we go. As I said, got a few more of these. So that'll help. In the grand scheme of things. Come on, let me get out of this. Jesus. Alright, well... Didn't work out the way I'd hoped. Having them open like that. Um, back to life support pack. There we go. Beautiful. Uh-oh. 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 Not good. Not good. Okay. Well. Take one of those. There we go. That's what I want to see. Oh, geez. Okay. Um. Just realized I should probably do that. Okay, he is. Doing this really good. I'm not going to lie. He is really strong. And he is sapping all of our health right now. Oh my god. Could you stop killing my companions? Okay, so everyone gets one. Okay. That's fine. You're a son of a bitch. You are a son of a bitch. You are an evil son of a bitch. You are going to drain through my med packs in this raid. Yeah. How? How did that work? Okay, um, Jesus. Alright, down all the way to life support, okay. Here we go, and I guess use a frag grenade. Okay, not a usable or equipable item. Okay, so I, I need to do it this way. Oh, you fucker. You fucker. Okay, so I'm gonna just be the healer for the time being. Uh oh. Okay, well, this isn't good. Oh no. 
I am a little SOL unless I do combat. Okay, come on. There we go. Ooh, God damn. He was a lot stronger than I expected. Holy fuck. Okay, so 3,000 credits. <laughs> Double bladed lightsaber, Darth Bendon's fiber armor. Okay. You guys are beat the fuck up. I do appreciate your help, though. Really. It was far more than I deserved. Wow, okay. You didn't get anything. Oh, you have something. Seven fucking credits. Jesus. Wow, okay. Um, let's look at... Oh, it's just a normal lightsaber? He was just really fucking strong? Oh, great. That's what I want to know. Thank you. All right. Um, what was his fiber armor? It was a light armor. So it was lighter than what I currently have on. Uh, which is a max dexterity bonus of plus eight. Um, this is resistant versus fire and can be upgradable. Despite the unfortunate fate of Darth Benden, this light armor remains a desirable asset for any warrior. Silvery polish reflects a pride in craftsmanship rarely seen today. Oh my good gods. That was strong as fuck. And... Well... I mean... Your wish? There we go. Alrighty. Okay. Yes? Sure. <sighs> Alright, well. Since that worked out, just barely, but it worked out, um, I guess we move on. <laughs> To my uh, other plan, my new plan, rather, where I uh, go back, have these guys leave the party, and then I go on in search of uh, the bastard who I'm trying to kill. Which is really all I can do. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> that was a fucking hell of a fight. Keeping them all healed up and combat helpful is just fucking a massive pain in the ass. Johnny fucking busted her ass, though. Gotta give her props. Gotta give her props for that. How may I be of a... what uh, is can we talk? Like uh, apparently not. Okay. So, before... I just wanted to make sure of that before I sent them off. Bye. Okay. So this is stronger defensive, but it's not upgraded yet. Uh, should I keep on the master robe then? Even though it, yeah, it doesn't really help much of anything right now. Uh, doesn't really help at all. <sighs> so I might as well keep this. I might as well keep this. Doesn't have me look as fucking cool like a Jedi, though. But fuck it. Okay. So we continue on. Hopefully finding the uh, bugger I'm supposed to kill. not down that way. We've already discovered that. Wow, that is bright. Holy shit. Okay. So he's not in the eastern dune sea. Then where the fuck is he? 
Or was that a combat I had to get out of the way before I could find him? If that's the case, that's really stupid. And I'm willing to bet that that's not the case, but it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Hmm. Nope. Not that I can see. Well, time to go all the way back and discover for sure if I'm correct or not. Also, uh, I only just noticed these statues here look very similar to the alien we saw on Kashyyyk, don't you think? Just a little bit. Uh, regardless, he's not here. Don't know where he is, but he's not here. Maybe he's in the uh, Dune Sea part that has the... Uh... So this is where Kalo Nord had fought us. Okay. Must be in the Dune Sea section that has the sand people. It's the only thing that makes sense. Why he'd be there, I have no idea. But... Oh well, we'll find out in a second. Because it's the only thing that makes sense. If he's in the main dune sea, it'd be a little weird. Alright. The Sand People Territory. Okay. And here we are. Motherfucker. He's right there. Motherfucker. He was right there. Okay. Um, let's turn on the shield. Real quick, because that will help me, I'm sure, against Vorn's assault droid. Okay. Ah. The droid is damaged and inactive. We could repair it. If a fight breaks out, its programming will now instruct it to come to your aid. And... Optimize the weaponry, the targeting systems, the shields, and make it attack Vorn. You will not be able to modify it anymore. Fair enough. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to engage Vorn Disrod. You decide it would be wise to follow it. Damn right it would be. Follow it along. He did kill a crate dragon. What this? What's going on here? What are you doing with my assault droid? If you surrender now, I'll let you live. Turn my own droid against me. Very clever, but it take more than rogue assault droid and you to take down Vorntas Rod. Well. Did he seriously throw a fucking... Gas grenade at a droid. There we go. So far, so good. Working out pretty well in my favor. He is immune to stun and... Force Wave is only doing moderate damage to him. And he 
he has no real energy weapons to speak of. So, and he's really doing all the physical damage. Okay. Down he goes. And what does he have on his person? 300 credits and a data pad. Another data pad. There is a message on this data pad, though it is unclear if Vorn meant to send it to someone, or if someone sent it to him. The guild is restless. Gino Haradan agents are hunting. Soon they will come for me, and possibly for you. When they do, I plan to be ready. Huh. A double blade lightsaber. Huh. Born's assault droid. Okay. Well, it worked out. The droid definitely helped. Nothing over... Fucking overloaded his shields just attacking it. Okay. And I can fucking... <laughs> go back to the Ebon Hawk from here? Okay. Well, that's a thing. I can get my party selection and go back to the Ebon Hawk from here in the Sand People territory, but not fucking in the Eastern Dune Sea. Unless... Unless the only reason that I was going to get... Huh. First I realize I should probably check if I can loot the Crate Dragon. It's probably best. Um... Maybe the only reason that I couldn't do anything... Okay. <laughs> That's a way to do it. Okay, I can hit it, but I get no new items from it. Okay. No new anything. Alright, well. Worth a shot, I guess. The only reason I couldn't, maybe the only reason I couldn't have them rejoin my party, as I have stammered out this word at least 19 dozen times, or at least this phrase, is that maybe I couldn't do it because of that exact uh, encounter uh, pretty much queued up to happen, and there was no way for me to do it because of that encounter so i'm going to go in here and check and find out nope it just part of the part of the design of the eastern dune sea is that i cannot do any of that oh well weird but all right Okay, well, I'm just going to buy more med kits from you, because <laughs> I need far more than what I currently have. Alright, I think that's enough. I think I should be fine with that, because I used a lot of those. But then also used a lot of life support packs, which he doesn't have any more of. So... Let's see. Can I talk How to Jihani about new stuff now? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Of I guess course. not. Okay. Well. Um. Okay, so Vorn is dead. Shape-shifting alien named Rulan. Uh... I might as well go after Rulan, but that will be in the next episode because I'm pretty sure with the combined totals of the first half of this episode and this half of the episode, I just basically paused the recording outright, um, I'm probably a little over uh, what my episode time should be, so I'm just ending for now. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to do more Gino Haradin quests. And uh, ran into a problem where I got super ambushed. <laughs> and uh, went at it again. Finally beat a Darth Bannon, Abandon, after a very long, drawn out, and very fucking cheatsy doodle fight where he just stole our health from us, like multiple fucking times. But uh, we did kill him in the end and got 3,000 credits for it, which I then used to buy more supplies for healing because fuck that fight <laughs> for you.